Hi, I'm Teresa the Traveler and today I'm here at the Clinton Museum checking out some history. The museum is located right on the side of the road here, but you have no idea what treasures they hold until you go inside. This is a bomb loader and it was based in a Squimalt and its job was to move bombs during the Second World War and it was later converted to a tow truck. This is an 1861 freight wagon that would run freight from Yale to Barkerville. And this building here is a 1911 provincial government stables. This is where the provincial police put their horses. 90% of the collection is from this area around Clinton. This is an actual poker table from 1861 that used to be in the old Clinton Hotel. And this is the display inside the stables. Oh my God, this is incredible. Wow. This here is a mess box. This is what the food was stored in when they came from the United States on their covered wagons. They have a collection of brands here. Some of them are from the turn of the century from the ranches in the area. This is a work in progress. Eventually they'll have brands on all the wood and we can see what the different symbols look like. They have pictures of some of the locals around here. This is Sissy and Charlie, Charlie Dotry, and they own one of the oldest ranches that's still owned by the family in Canada. What's it called again? It's called the Maiden Creek Ranch. There you go, Maiden Creek Ranch. This is awesome, check this out. It's a two-man chainsaw, one on each end. This buggy belonged to Dr. Sanson. He was the first doctor in Clinton. Yeah. Can I move it? I don't know if it moves. Oh, I don't think you should. Oh. Oh, yeah, there you go. It moves. So this is a mangle. It was used in the Dominion Hotel for pressing sheets back in 1910. So this desk is from the late 1860s and it is from the first schoolhouse that was ever opened in British Columbia and that was back before it was BC. It was New Caledonia. This, this bench I'm sitting on is from the Clinton Hotel which burned in 1958. This bench is a hundred years old and come a little closer. Right here you can see all sorts of carvings on it that people had carved in it over the last hundred years. How cool is that? Cut. <laughs> this here is an actual piece from the Robertson Brothers store. Check out what they've got. Strict 9. We got our catnip here, our slippery elm, rhubarb, senna, I don't know what that is. Sassafras bark. Sassafras bark? <laughs> what do you Root use beer. sassafras Root bark beer. for? Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. Resin, your lockwood. Cool. Oh, and up here, Dutch cleanser. Oh, your X Lux. That's been around for a while. <laughs> nice. What are the crude drugs? <laughs> <laughs> you got your boric acid over here and an old thing of Heinz horseradish. Thanks. And hey, hey, it's a bottle of rum. <laughs> or barrel of rum. And that is a cheese cutter. Is it? Yes. Oh. That because thing. cheese used to come in great big round blocks. Okay. Right. And that's how you cut it. Cool. And out here we have a blacksmith shop. So this is a 13 passenger sleigh and it traveled from 20 mile house to Clinton in the late 1800s. This was like their winter bus. This drag saw was known as a Wee McGregor. The saw was wheeled up like a barrel to the tree. The blade was then placed on the tree and the cylinder engine started. This stove was in the Clinton Hotel when it burnt down. It is the oldest stove in Canada. Right here is where they put their feet and hung their socks. This here is a horse drawn grater. This here is an old wheelchair. Wow. So here we have a picture of the Clinton Hotel. It was built in 1861 and burnt down in 1958. 